A simple model, love affairs. Romeo and Juliet. The two variables of our face space, they'll be R of T and J of T. R is going to be Romeo's affection or disgust with Juliet. So that's like how he feels about the thing. And it, if, so it could be positive if he's affectionate or disgust if it's negative. And then on the other hand, uh, there's Juliet's affection or disgust with Romeo. Their affections change in time, right? Their impetuous youth from Verona. So the rate of change of their affection can be given by a differential equation. <laughs> Um, so R dot is A R plus B times J, and then J dot is C R plus D times J. A, B, C, and D are all parameters. If B is greater than zero, then that means Romeo is encouraged by Juliet's feelings. I guess that would be only if J is greater than zero, or discouraged if J is less than zero, and so on. So kind of get the idea. In terms of these parameters A, B, C, and D, we could talk about personality types. So what happens when two identically cautious people get together? And so we have to find out how we're going to write cautiousness. We'll take A less than zero to mean that's a measure of cautiousness. And then B greater than zero is a measure of responsiveness. Here we'll put the same thing. J dot equals B R plus A. J. A, it goes in front of J because that's a measure of J's cautiousness. So they're both equally cautious and responsive. What does that mean? So R dot J dot equals A, B, B, A, R, J. The only fixed point is zero, zero. So we'll just do a phase plane analysis of this. So it will never settle down to anything. It could only grow in affections or who knows, we have to see what's going on. If we were to get the trace and the determinant, right, this is A, trace of A is 2A and that's less than zero. Delta is the determinant of A and that is A squared minus B squared. So we don't know if that's um, positive or negative yet. If we get the eigenvalues, right? The eigenvalues were, we have one half tau plus or minus tau squared minus four delta and just plug these things in so we have one half two a plus or minus square root four a squared minus four a squared plus four b squared which means we have a plus or minus b i will say lambda one is the one that's a plus b and then lambda two is a minus b here we've solved for the eigenvalues. Now we can solve for eigenvectors. So a v equals lambda v, remember? So let's do that for lambda one. a b b a. So here x and y will be directions along v1. I want to find out what v1 is. This equals lambda one, which is a plus b x y. Do the matrix multiplication. For the first one, it's a x plus b y equals a plus b x. And what does that give us? Uh, y equals x. So v1 is just 1, 1. An eigenvector is just a direction. It's not a magnitude. We haven't normalized it or anything. And we could find the other direction. Similarly, for lambda 2, we can get v2. So v1 is in the positive. 45 degree angle from x dot, and then v2 is negative 45 degrees. So we can look at the situation now. We've got the eigenvectors. We've got these eigendirections, but we don't know what the dynamics will look like. We don't know how to draw the arrows. So we've got to look at some cases. If the magnitude of A is greater than the magnitude of B, that means cautiousness is greater than responsiveness. I would guess this is going to end in just going to zero, zero. Remember lambda one is a plus b and lambda two is a minus b. So for this case, they're both negative. So we have a stable node. What will it look like? Everything goes to zero in a certain way. The romance fizzles no matter where you start. Everything ends in apathy. Apathy, I guess, is what we're calling the uh, fixed point.
On the other hand, what if responsiveness is better than cautiousness? Magnitude of B is greater than magnitude of A. Responsiveness is greater than cautiousness. I think things could end up really well or they could end up really bad. We have lambda 2 is A minus B, so that's going to be less than 0. Lambda 1 is A plus B, so that's going to be greater than 0. So that means along the direction, we'll call this direction, right? This was that V1, the V1 eigen direction, V2 eigen direction. So along V1, things are escaping, they're leaving. And along this other one, they're approaching. So we've got a saddle. If you start above the V2 eigen direction, then there'll be this mutual love. Although if they start below that, then it'll be it'll be just kind of terrible. Like ever increasing exponential mutual hate. And apathy is this you know unstable point at the origin. 